1st of December. So today's video is on the lovely Zoella and her homeware range or collection or selection of products. I also have a few things that I wanted to show you as well that were included in the homeware. I said I wasn't going to do like a whole homeware video but now I've bought a few things more. I should have actually done a homeware haul video but oh well. Um, okay so first of all I just want to mention limit watches. I've been wanting a watch for quite some time and I never knew what brand, I never knew what brand of watch to go for. I came across Limit and their watches and I really liked this rose gold oval with a black strap and I really liked it but then I stumbled upon this one and this is the rose gold burgundy strapped watch. It's just so perfect, it's the perfect size for my wrist because my wrists are really tiny, I can't really tell on, on camera, but they're so small and to have a big massive watch on my wrist, it just, it just, uh, yeah, it would be too big for my wrist in my opinion, but this one's just perfect and it's just so gorgeous. It's water resistant and it's even got the date in the place of the sixth digit on the clock. Next I have this little guy. Oh my goodness. So if you have a love and passion for Disney, you'll know that this little guy's name is Pua, spelled P-U-A. It makes my, me laugh every time I say it, or it makes my friend laugh every time I say it. The little pig, he's from the upcoming film Moana, and that is released this month, December. This coming month it's released and I am so excited. He's just so cute and if you haven't checked out the teaser trailer I will link it in the description box below because it is so... it looks so good. Since it's nearly December I am going to be starting to put my Christmas decorations up. These are going to have to come down and it also allows me to have brand new Christmas bedding on my bed. I picked this up from Asda, it was £10, absolute bargain and last year I went for the next Santa Claus elf duvet which matched my mug plate and bowl set. This year I'm going to go for some reindeer and I just, I really think this is adorable. You've got um, two reindeers and then single reindeers on their own and then you've got all these little cute little snowflakes and then if you flip over the duvet it's just like, you know, if you, on the reverse side of the duvet, it's snowflakes. And for £10, it's a bargain. I love, I really do love Asda's duvet sets, and I just could not pass this up. This was the last one in stock when I went to the store, so I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not leaving the store without this duvet set. Moving on swiftly, I wanted to get some more fluffy socks, or cosy socks, should I say, from Primark. And to go with the Christmassy theme, I picked up these polar bear socks with these with antlers on but they're polar bears and this is like really nice and cozy and soft and they're really thick as well they're kind of like slipper socks they are slipper socks oh this says it right there okay next we have um some bits from the velvet ghost range in primark if you know many youtubers you will know of or heard of velvet ghost which is gabriella she is such a wonderful youtuber she is so confident and inspirational in so many ways and it's just so nice to be um, like an employee at Primark and get to see some of a YouTuber's work come to life in Primark right in the store that I work at. So I picked up these fluffy socks from her collection. They're all kitten and cat inspired. Um, I didn't get anything from her collection last year though I really did want the mug so you can guess what's coming next. But these are £2.50. It's one pair of socks but these are longer than your average um, pair of fluffy socks but I just thought these were so adorable. They're pink on one side and then as you go down the sock they go into this kind of like white, pink, purple stripe into the grey. And yeah, they're just they're just so cute. There's so many things from the range. I did pick up the duvet, but then I sent it back because I bought the Christmas one instead. So next we have the mug by Gabriella. Also Velvet Ghost, as you may know her. It says Meow on the front and then it has her signature um, name and screen name. For Twitter and her YouTube channel on the back of the mug. It's a really decent sized mug in my opinion and I just I've always wanted a glass a glass see-through mug. <laughs> I'm like looking through the glass. I can just 
see my hot chocolate with a nice whipped cream on the top. I mean, that's just good. Moving on from one YouTuber to another. So, some of you have been asking for this video and I've finally gotten around to doing it. I didn't want it to be so close to the last Zoella video I did and I didn't want it to be too close to Christmas either so I'm doing it at the end of November, beginning of December. I will be doing the Christmas Zoella gingerbread beauty later on in December but I just wanted to do this first because there was just so much Zoella and Tanya beauty stuff going on I just needed to kind of like differentiate all that into separate videos. So they are coming and I hope you stick around to see them. So I'm going to start off with the diffusers or candles? Let's start off with the candles shall we? The candle that I most definitely wanted to pick up because I had a feeling that this is, was going to be the only candle scent that I really liked was the Lazy Days candle. I love those bedroom scented candles if that makes any sense. I love kind of like fresh linen, I love tow the towel scents from Yankee Candle. I just love those roomy cozy scents. It's a sweet, fresh, soapy scent I would say. This is definitely that candle that I could just have around the whole year. And the next candle is my Eden. It's my mum's favourite. It smells of like rosemary brushes, like roses basically. Fresh cut flowers. So if you don't like that scent and if you have hay fever this is not the candle for you because my best friend does not like this scent. It sets her hay fever off. But I won't, be, I won't be lighting this when she's around, that's for sure. This is probably my least favourite because I'm not that keen on floral scents um, in my room. I don't know why. I like the kind of, even even in the springtime and the summertime, I like the, the kind of fresh, cosy scents. And then in the winter, I kind of like the warm, cinnamony, apple-y scented candles. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing this one, but I did want to get it to try it out and see if I wanted to repurchase it. The next candle is the Seaside Stroll, another one that I wasn't so sure about before ordering it. However, this is this one surprised me because I didn't think it was going to smell the way it does. Um, when I think of the Seaside, I think of like a salty, sandy, summery kind of scent. This is, I wouldn't say this is salty or sandy. This candle smells so fresh and so nice, however, it smells very similar, and uh, this is just my opinion, you don't have to go with it, but it smells very similar to the Always, um, Always Fresh, Freshness, <laughs> Always Freshness pads, or Always Freshness panty liners, you know, there's, I don't know why, I don't know, it just does, I'm, I charge, I'm probably like going crazy over this, but I honestly think these, these smell like that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love that scent, but for, for a candle to remind you of that, that kind of thing that women have to go through every month, <laughs> it's kind of a little weird. But I do like, I do love this scent. This is the last candle I have, which is the Gingerbread Village. The Lazy Days and this one were definitely the two I really wanted to pick up from this range. And hands down, I would so get this one again. It smells beautiful I love cinnamony ginger scents and this was just exactly what I wanted it to smell like because I love the scent of the lazy days candle I just had to get the lazy days diffuser there was no doubt about that I mean once my candle burns out I've got to have something to replace it even if it's just a diffuser because diffusers last longer guys I don't know if you know that but they do this diffuser would be like the backdrop to all of your scents so your room would smell like that when your candles aren't burning I love this I'm so glad I got this Yes, cannot wait to smell fresh. Next diffuser I have here is the Daisy Picking Rediffuser. It's a very nice fresh scent. It's not as floral as the My Eden Candle. I think this would be perfect for spring. However, I do regret getting it in the rediffuser because these things take forever to get rid of. So it's just gonna be around for a while. Whereas if I got the candle, I would have loved to have banned that out. I will be using this though because I've got so many now and I've got a never ending stock of Zoella's rediffusers. <laughs> so of course I love the gingerbread candle I had to get. I didn't have, I didn't have to but I did. I went and bought the gingerbread village rediffuser. I am a, the kind of girl who loves cinnamon, gingerbread and apple scents 
that much I would happily have this in my room all year. Just my room smelling of Christmas the whole year round because that's what gingerbread and cinnamon reminds me of. It reminds me of Christmas. So why not have your room smell like gingerbread all year round? Why not? I'm like really arguing with myself like, yes Kate, it's okay to buy these Rita Poozers. <laughs> Since this next one does not have a candle yet, I just had to buy it to smell the scent. Just, I just, I just wanted it. It's, it sounded nice and yeah, that's why. That's my reasoning behind it. But I picked up the homemade treats Rita Poozer. This says that it sends smells of whipped buttercream and gooey salted caramel drizzled over home baked cupcakes. Bring some indulgence to your home with this delicious scent, almost good enough to eat. I just think the Lazy Days Gingerbread Village and this one is my favourite. And when they bring out a candle, I will definitely be purchasing the candle because I just love these edible scents. Edible, warm, cosy, those kind of re-diffusers and candles. I just, I love it. I just, I really liked the idea of this set. How you get um, a set of socks, because I love my cosy socks, even though they're probably as cheap as Primark. But hey ho, I'm just really paying for the candle. I don't think this is great value, in my opinion. £16 for this set, because that's basically £10 for the candle, because that's how much the candles are, and then £6 for the socks, which I wouldn't say that's a great deal at all, because you can just pick up a pair of socks from Primark for £2.50. My reasoning behind this is I just wanted both, and I just liked the set. So, the other Lazy Day candle though is actually for my best friend. I'll be giving her, giving that to her for Christmas. She's probably watching this, but she already knows anyway. <laughs> um, I'm gonna open this so I can give you my feedback on these pair of socks because I just don't know whether six pounds is worth the hassle. Are they really that amazing that I should pay six pounds for these pair of socks? Let's take that off. Oh, sock smell of the candle. Mmm. Would I pay six pounds for these socks? Me no no. I'm gonna put them on my feet. You're not gonna You're not gonna be able to like see this. I'll tell you what they feel like. Just hold my foot up. I can't get behind. I like the fact they're long. That's probably my only factor about these at the moment. They're long and they fit my feet. That's great like to fit their feet. These would not fit my best friend. So this set would not be good for my best friend. She'd be she'd be drowned in these socks. I'll show you my sock. <laughs> They're cute. I wouldn't pay six pounds for them. They are cute though. I would pay max four pounds. Max four pounds. So if this set was 14 pounds I would say that's reasonable or even 13. I like them. I really do. They're nice. I just wouldn't pay £16 for them, even though I did for the set. Oh well. So with the candle and sock set, I just had to get the mug and glove set. You cannot, you cannot have the socks without the gloves. It just doesn't make any sense. And I don't actually have a travel mug, so I thought that was pretty decent. Plus, this is I. I'm not even sure if this is. I think this is just plastic. See now pricing on this it's 14 pounds right mug you could get how much you could get like a two mug two pound two quid mug in fact gabriella's is two pounds her mug her travel mug i'm pretty sure it's two pounds or three pounds from primark it ain't worth it it's really not i'm really picking this apart zavella um candles i can understand right candles 10 pound yeah, I'm okay with that because I paid £10 for candles. I paid £10 for my sanctuary candles, so that makes sense, that's fine. Three diffusers, £12? See, I don't know. I've, I've paid cheaper for it. I've paid £6 for a reed diffuser of that size. So, I think reed diffusers should be cheaper than candles because it's just a fragrance, whereas the candles is actual wax. But then I go, I don't know, is wax more expensive or cheaper than diffuser scent? This is bad design. Look, how am I supposed to get this mug past the rest of the box? It doesn't pop out either. Like, you cannot detach this. Or can you? Oh, 
you can. <laughs> Travel mug, that's the thing, would you pay six pounds for a, a plastic mug? No. It's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion, but I do love the design. Love the design, love the fact that it says topped with cream and sprinkles because that is exactly what I would have. Chocolate sprinkles I think though. Do I like these gloves? I actually kind of do. <laughs> No, I like these. These are cute. Six pounds for these gloves. Um, no, these would should be about three pounds. Socks, about four pounds. That would make more sense. But yeah, no, I like I like I like this kind of duo. I like the gloves and the mug. And I would sit there in my socks and my glove, cozying up with that hot chocolate. So yeah, I do like this set. I do think this set should actually be around about 10. 10 pounds is reasonable. Eight pounds would be a bargain, in my opinion. Four pound, four pound for the mug, four pound for the gloves, or three pound for the gloves and five pound for the mug. That's fine. I mean, you are gonna wanna make profit off this. Zoella's gonna make profit off this somewhere. So I do think that's reasonable, but like Gabriella and Velvet Ghost and the whole thing at Primark, she's selling socks and a dressing gown, pyjamas, all of that jazz, duvet sets, and they're much, much cheaper. I know it's because they're sold at Primark, but I do think these products could have been a little bit more cheaper. Last but not least, because it was the three for two offer and Zoella does inspire me. A lot of people say that I inspired them and that makes me happy when they say that, come and say that to me. I'm not, I never, as a little girl, never thought that I would be an inspirational person to people, but in my eyes, I kind of live up to that now. I live up to the fact that I want to be someone who, not you guys, but my friends would go to or look up to, or even my sister. I mean, I'm, I, I'm an older sister and I would love for my sister to look at, at me, view me and think, yeah, I want to be like her because I want to be like my sister, even though she's younger than me. That's just my personal opinion. So enough of the preaching about inspirational people and people who inspire me, but I just had to get this key ring. <laughs> Probably might hang it just as like a little tell me self, tell me self, that's bad English, but you know, a little reminder to just be someone, think of the people who inspire me and think of those people who I would love to inspire. That's kind of my thing. Yeah. That is this haul. I'm sorry if it's taken so long. This is the first video of the Christmas season and I'm sure the next video you will see is all my Christmas decorations up because I will get that done this week. Let me know in the comments which of these products you have bought are on your Christmas list or you're planning to give to a friend. I would love to know what's your favourite and what's your not so favourite, what's your least favourite. Anyway, enough of this video, I hope you like it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel and comment below. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye! The next candle I have here, oh my gosh, God, take this stump stickers off. <sighs> if I loved the Lazy Days candle, I had to get the Lady. That's the back of it. Well done. Top marks on that one, Kate. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Let me just take this sticker off. I don't want you on there. So can you please come off? They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say bom bom. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I don't want those. Come out. Get out. Get off. Sorry, I have little mix in my brain.
the album's just recently come out and it's just on replay in my head and nothing else matters but us is in my head nothing else matters oh goodbye bye bye bye